All that hard work, it did pay off. I know, it's pretty special. All right, we're getting a little bit of rain in some areas after some last night. Damon, we yep. need every bit we can get. We do. Right we now. need every drop. And we're not done with it yet. But, you know, before that storm moved in, we had some pretty mild weather yesterday, even though it only hit 47 in Evanston. In St. George, you made it up to 73. Most valleys were in the 60s, including Salt Lake, where uh, we warmed up to 63, which put us several degrees above our average high of 56. Our average low is 37, and it's warmer than that this morning. In fact, a lot of these readings, especially over central and southern Utah, are much higher than they were 24 hours ago. So combination of cloud cover, breeze out of the south, even though we've got a storm coming in, uh, has really kept it comfortable for a lot of folks. Uh, temperatures... Today, though, aren't going to climb as high as they did yesterday because we've got cold air moving in behind the storm. It's kind of, or it did fall apart overnight, uh, but we've got a band of some uh, rain showers over western Utah, mainly from Washington County north toward uh, Highway 50, so that's going to make for some wet roads for some of you. And then in the north, things let up earlier this morning, and now we've got a few light showers going again over southern Davis County into uh, northern Salt Lake Valley. Temperature right now is 51 degrees in Salt Lake City. In the north, our best chance of the showers is going to be during the morning hours. This will gradually taper off heading into the afternoon. But it should stay mostly cloudy, even though we'll see more sunshine peeking through by the end of the day. Uh, central and southern Utah will get some widespread valley rain, mountain snow going. Uh, most valleys will get rain. Uh, snow will be mainly above uh, 7,000 feet. The showers begin in the west. They'll spread southeast across the rest of the southern part of the state later this morning into the afternoon. Northern mountains could get less than an inch of snow, while there could be a few inches over the higher terrain of central and southern Utah. But by tomorrow, behind the storm, uh, things quiet down. So it'll be looking good for St. Patrick's Day. Sunny, 67 in St. George. You'll make it back into the mid-70s by Saturday and then get a lot cooler with the next storm bringing wet weather by the end of the weekend. And for northern Utah tomorrow, it's going to be looking good as well. We'll be off to a chilly start, but uh, we'll make it up near 50. It'll be mostly sunny. We'll warm into the low 60s by Saturday, and then we'll get an even better chance of some valley rain, mountain snow with that next storm that'll move in on Sunday.